Hi guys, it's Andy, the GD Script Dude, coming at you from my tutorial website on gdscript.com. I promised you a tutorial about go.graph node and the graph edit. Here it is. This is what it's about. And my current project is about using these features. Let's go to my project here we have a main GD file it is full of stuff full of code very very big code how many lines have we got we down to nearly 500 lines and let's run it let's see what happens we got this and then we can do things we can drop gates there and we can get inputs these are multiple inputs available oh let's go for an input push this is a push button, click on there and connect it to this. And you can change the levels like that. And we can also get outputs of various kinds. Let's go for an output four, four binary uh, digits worth of output there. Push, 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 push. This is not so good because it's an AND gate. We need uh, ones or noughts for the output. Push, push, push. There you go. It's working. Anyway, forget this one. File, new. Delete it. Changes will be lost. Okay, we don't mind. Go away. Now, let's open something more advanced. Let's look through our file system. Going to data. And what should we do? Let's go for a D latch. This is a type D flip flop latch, the very basic kind. See how I've saved this as a circuit. I'm going to test it out. I developed this for kind of testing my code because the object of this kind of game is to create the D latch and unlock it. If we here we got the basic gates. You can construct a latch from it, a D, D flip flop, etc., from these basic gates, such as the NAND gates or the NOR gates. Select them, delete them, wire them up. But if you go click up, we got our bosses there. We click up again. We got this, the D latch. Normally this, this is going to be locked. It's going to be red colored, modulated by the red color. So if you click that, then you're going to come up with a truth table that you've got to solve and create a circuit that, that resolves correctly when you test the truth table. So let's go ahead. This, let's get this truth table up for this one. You see, it has the true table there. And, uh, at the top, we've got the the inputs and the outputs, slightly different color vari variations there. So we get input E for enable, E there. We we put that in as an input pin. Notice that turn red because we changed the configuration of the circuit. And then D. We got input D. And two outputs Q and Q, not Q, Q, not Q. And these are the, it's going to cycle when we click on this test button, it will cycle through the inputs and evaluate the outputs to check that they match OK. X means it doesn't matter which, what level, what logic level they have. Otherwise, they're going to be 0 or 1. Let's test. Let's check what happens. First, it checks uh, the the inputs and outputs are available, I'll set up properly, and then see it passed. Obviously, it does. So, if you are making this up from the basic gates, like I showed you there, and it passed, then you would unlock one of these devices here. These are combination logic blocks, such as the D latch. That's how to get it unlocked. And then the next stage will be when you've got all these unlocked, then you can make microprocessors and all kinds of crazy stuff. So hopefully you like that. And then, yeah, um, what else can I show you? Like 
Yeah, we saw that already, didn't we? Okay, next video, I'll update you on where I'm going from there. Over and out, Andy. Cheers. See you again. Like and subscribe me. Okay, bye.